Okay, welcome back to American Agenda. We continue to follow the breaking news from today from the Supreme Court. They have unanimous, unanimously ruled to keep Trump on the ballot in Colorado. Now, SCOTUS was expected to decide on Trump's ballot eligibility before tomorrow's primary in Colorado, and of course they did. This ruling also applies to any other states, and there have been several that have similar challenges pending, like Illinois and Maine, for example. So now no state can attempt to kick the former president off the ballot. A pretty big decision here. Now, the former president took to Truth Social with reaction, calling the ruling, quote, a big win in America, but Colorado's Secretary of State, they don't think so. Writing on X, Colorado should be able to bar oath-breaking insurrectionists from our ballot. All right. Uh, joining us now to weigh in, former U.S. Attorney in Washington, D.C. and Newsmax contributor Joe DeGeneva, along with former Senior Justice Department official and Newsmax contributor Victoria Tensing. Joe, I see you chuckling along there. It's just very interesting, I think, the... Uh, let me just say the bravado um, of, of that Colorado official to think that simply as a state, uh, she has the ability to completely decide what Coloradans and uh, if that's what they're called, Coloradians, Coloradoans, Coloradans. Someone will tell me. It's good guess. Coloradans. Thank you. There we go. Uh, what, what, who they might vote for, and also a reminder there, he was never charged with insurrection. So, Joe, why, oh, minor, why, why, minor, why are people doing this? A minor, a minor detail that he's yeah. never been charged or convicted of insurrection. Oh, yeah, no, no big deal. I, I think what's going uh, on in Colorado is there's an awful lot of radiation that comes from that uh, the, the mountains and things <laughs> there, and I think it has affected the Secretary of State deeply. Uh, in fact, she seems to she seems to be a loon, literally a loon, uh, and her disgraceful disrespect for the United States Supreme Court, nine to nothing. She thinks she's smarter and more important than nine Supreme Court justices. She may be a reason to stay out of Colorado. Vic, your thoughts <laughs> on this, and I think it's restoring the faith in voters here. What a monumentous decision. This is from SCOTUS, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Trump sometimes misses the mark in his tweets, but this time he got it right, it was a win for America. This was not a win, as, as a lot of uh, liberal commentators wanted to say today. This was a win for Trump. No, it wasn't. It was a win for the election mm -hmm. process. Can you imagine what it would be like if this was allowed to stand? Well, Texas may say that there is a reason that Joe Biden shouldn't be on the ballot, because after all, he led in murderers over across the border. I mean, this could go on and on forever. The Supreme Court and the majority did it did it the right way. They they cut it right off. They said, this is it. Only Congress can decide and interpret the 14th Amendment. The, the minority wanted to say, well, there could be little reasons that somebody else could interpret the 14th Amendment. No, mm. cut it off at the core. Yeah, that's a great point there. And, you know, Joe, it's the Supreme Court with all of its ideological diversity seemingly finally taking politics out of the law with this unanimous decision, yeah. but then look ahead a little bit for us to that immunity case they are looking at, which of course would be very helpful for the former president. Well, I think this was an indicator today of where the court's going to go. Uh, first of all, for, for, for anyone who hasn't read it, they should read the DC circuit opinion. The unanimous decision rejecting President Trump's claim is one of the worst decisions ever written by an appellate court. And that is the reason that the Supreme Court took this case. It was so poorly written, so bad in its thinking, its rationale. The Supreme Court is going to create immunity, presidential immunity, from criminal prosecution in most circumstances. As you know, in 1982, they decided that presidents are immune from civil suits for actions taken in the outer perimeter of their presidency. They're going to do the same thing with criminal cases because the rationale for civil immunity is the same for criminal. He, Trump will win in the Supreme Court. I think they're probably going to try to find a way to limit it, but they are going to rule that there is presidential immunity for criminal prosecution for acts done while you were president within the outer perimeter of your presidency. And, and that was the test in the in the civil case for, for Nixon. But what is all this uh, hand wringling over the president might have immunity? Members of Congress have immunity. Judges have immunity. Ju yes. Federal so, judges. Well, what they, is? Yeah. It